What's going on guys and welcome back to day 19 of Prison Architect. In our prison that is currently struggling to stay afloat, we have 2000 well $2200 in the hole right now. If uh, you remember the end of last episode, we had some tasers got rolled out right when we were just about to recover and get right back on track. So, yes, now we're just waiting to try to get some money here. We have 17 prisoners up for parole. Hopefully a couple of them will make it. Uh, and then we have two prisoners coming in for a total of $1,000. So, by morning time, we should be more than okay. Because we have $3,500 coming in per day. Which equates to, I guess, uh, $272 per X amount of time during the day when they randomly give you some money. So, yeah, that's good. Okay, so we need to get a plan in place for this episode specifically. We need to figure out what we're going to do when we finally do have some money. And these tiles are still here. I wonder if those are anything. I mean, I think we tried to clear them. We bulldozed the foundation last time. It didn't do anything. We cleared indoor area last time. It didn't do anything. And there's obviously no walls there. So, yeah, I guess that's just a new tile that goes under doors at some point. So we're going to have to rework that. I'm thinking maybe we'll rework this whole area anyway. So that'll be a thing. So uh, I had a really good suggestion that someone said put some stuff out in the yard, like tables and benches, because it's going to look nice. But also, if you remember, anytime we come over to the max sec yard, there's always like a couple people on the benches. So I'm figuring if we have, do we have any benches in storage right now? Probably not. I can find them. No, no benches in stock. They're only $30, but we'll be able to put a couple out here. It is going to look better and it's also going to hopefully give some people some options, some things to do instead of just sitting around the door, like trying to get back in desperately, just staring back into the warm confines that are their cell block. But, all right, we have a reform session apparently just started, so we're back down $2,000. Uh, yeah, we gotta watch ourselves with the reform programs. The programs are kind of an issue. And let me go in here and just take these, and we're just gonna delete them. We're just going to delete them. Yes, right-click? Right. So, yeah, we have all our guards now should... Well, no, most of our guards should have tasers. We still have one guard who doesn't. Apparently... <laughs> he didn't he didn't pass the test which it it can't be that hard it's like did you put batteries in the taser yeah aim the taser at the guy okay pull the trigger and then he pulls the trigger and then he zapped himself instead of shot the dummy or i think the training partner i remember seeing a lot of videos for like taser classes and a lot of the cops aren't allowed to get a taser until they've been tased themselves. Just to... Oh, speaking of getting tased, somebody just got tased. But yeah, they're not allowed to get it because they don't want... What are these guys carrying? Huh. Uh, yeah, they don't want people just going out and tasing anybody all willy-nilly. Uh, unless they know how it feels first. So, let's check it out. There's... Everybody in their free time has decided to go have a shower. Which is awesome because... This place is disgusting. Uh, there's a couple people freaking out. Our danger level is high and increasing. 90 people have serious complaints right now. And that's probably due to the fact that our food is just not anywhere near... Yeah, look at this. It's at critical mass and food time isn't for another two hours. So things may get a little interesting here. Exhibit A. Holy crap. There are many people injured. A few are unconscious. Hopefully nobody got bumped up to max because we don't have another cell. Wow. Who? Davies. What? Why? There's two of you in this cell block. You have protected custody. You are like the cream of the crop when it comes to our prison. And you decide to start a ruckus down here. You know what? We could just throw him into max sec and he wouldn't last more than like a couple hours. But I don't think we want to do that to him yet. I mean, if he starts attacking staff, yeah, we'll do that. I have no sympathy for that guy if he does that. What? We have more tasings going on. Levers. Another levers. Is this the original levers? Death by dangerous driving. Wow. 
Wow, nine years. <laughs> this is hilarious. We may eventually have a full-scale attack on our hands, and we have two extra max sec guys that don't have cells right now. So, wow, we have... Somebody's eating right now, but... Yeah, this whole uh, food thing is not the most ideal thing to do right at this point in time. Oh my. Well, luckily, only 72 prisoners have serious complaints right now. And look, this, this guy's got it right. Lyshan, he's just sitting here in the canteen waiting for his time to eat. I mean, you know what? He's probably already snuck a couple spoonfuls of green beans. He's just waiting to be able to, you know, dig in take a plate and just wow okay yeah uh anyway i'm not gonna finish that thought because we're dangerously just kind of treading water right now we need to get you know what we just had an intake oh crap i really hope i, I need to pay attention to that more i hope we didn't get anybody we have a okay no anybody see any snitches that just came in snitches Snitches. Snitches. I'm not seeing any, but Solitary is definitely, definitely filling up here. We have another guard with Incident over here. He's going on a rampage. It's Kill... Kill us? Kick, kick us. He's going on a rampage. Somebody stop him. Get the batons out. Tase him. Do something. It... it I think he just gave up. He just kind of decided his rampage would end when he saw the... The corner pocket of a pool table. Er, no, now he's just running around. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, wow, this is the highest our danger has ever been. And we have a full day left of, uh, no food. So, this food time could not come soon enough, and it's gonna come in 15 minutes. Thank everything that is anything. This is... <laughs> Look at the pen. They're just having some, some taser practice out here. Thomas, I don't know if he... Oh, I guess he's just exercising. It was, a uh, Quail... Quail-lyle? q -lyle, Whatever. Over here. All right. Eat time. Guys, go eat. Stop your rampages. Because if you don't get a meal now, I can't do anything to help you. There's no food in solitary. We have guys just rioting. This is hilariously very scary at the same time. Um, yeah, taser's going off. Luckily, we got tasers last episode because we'd be in a whole hell of a shit show if we didn't. Okay, so amidst the mess of blood and unconscious bodies around, people are now deciding to... This guy just got bumped up. Oh my. Alright, we have 17 out of 14 available maximum security spaces. Yeah, things are going to get a little hairy, especially in the holding cell soon here. Oh, you know what? It looks like whoever was in here... Decided to bust their way out of here. And, oh man, we actually have six dollars left. Uh, I don't know where he went, but the cage is definitely open. And it doesn't look like he escaped, because we never got a, a thing to pop up that says we had an escape. So that's good. At least our workers have some stuff to do today. And, uh, we have a little bit of money here. So I'm thinking that, at this point, we may just want to take out a loan. Because I need to do something. We haven't done anything in this uh, this episode just yet. So we could sell shares. Okay, you can sell up to 50% of your prison as shares to outside investors. You will be paid in cash immediately. In return for their investment, they will take a fraction of the total sales price of your when you sell. Oh, so it really doesn't do anything for us right now. Um, yeah, let's sell some shares. 10% shares for $30,000? Alright, well that just saved our money, our money problem. Awesome! So we have a ton of money now, and we're going to be able to actually build out maximum security, which is a good thing. And, yeah, so if we sell our prison, and if we wanted to go in and make a new prison, so, if you don't know, at the end of your, if you're bored with a prison, you can just straight out sell it. And then take the money that you make on your prison and start the next game with that much money. So you can essentially, I guess, get a really good start on the next time you make a prison. Which is a good, um, like a good way to do things. But at the same time, uh, 
Well, not at the same time. I guess selling shares of your prison now just doesn't do anything but take some money out of your end game. So if you're not going to sell a prison, just sell 50% of your prison and you'll be able to then, I guess, have a wad of cash. So, okay, we're getting these max sex cells up. We're going to have to remember to actually count them as max sex. That shouldn't go away when the cells go up, but I mean, I've been surprised before. This is done in here. This is going to be our visitation room, I think. I'm also thinking we're, we're definitely going to need a library. But I'm thinking maybe we want another parole room or two over here. And then, yes. So, hmm. Our visitors are never really piling up, but our parole are, yeah, the eligible parolees are definitely stacking up. So I'm thinking, how many spaces does a parole room have to be? I think it's five by five, if I remember correctly. It is five by five, yes. So we're going to need some six by six, um, right? Six by six? No, seven by seven. I always get that wrong for whatever reason. So this has to be like this, this, Please say that's enough. It is. Look at that. So, yeah, we could have a couple parole rooms here. And then is the staff room... Does does that have an actual size? Or is that just kind of up for debate? Can you just do whatever? Staff room. No requirements. Awesome. So this will be a staff room then. Which is actually going to be a really cool thing. Um, I noticed that a lot of the staff get tired. And if they have to walk all the way back over to this staff room... The, let's call this the boardroom because it's right next to the warden's office and it's got a nice uh, table and chairs in there. Um, yeah, if they have to walk all the way back here, that's not the most efficient thing. So, I'm thinking if we put just a staff room up here, we'll be able to, I guess, make people or make staff not as tired. And, uh, yeah, it should help out. So, okay. Let us go ahead and grab some tables and benches and put them in the yard like you guys suggested which is actually a really good suggestion I really like this idea we need something for these people out here to do um, I think is there a way that these benches are supposed to go because I noticed when people are sitting on this bench they're facing like left and when they're sitting on this bench they're also facing left so I'm wondering if you have to spin the benches around and make it look good, but uh, I'm not all that worried about it, to be honest. Especially out here in the yards, because, uh, yeah, there's really no purpose for them to be sitting at the table in the first place. So, it doesn't look like you can spin them, which is strange, but oh well. I guess this is fine. Let's go ahead and get these done. Is there anything else that makes, like, logical sense to put out here? I guess a table is highlighted for yard as I'm over here but I guess that's about it um, also I saw the radiator how are we doing with temperatures in the prison they're not bad I mean solitary is pretty cold this wing over here is definitely pretty cold so we're probably gonna want to put a radiator down here when I can find it there it is we'll put it right here that was not supposed to be a door so this will just go like this now uh, or do we want to keep that as a door? No, we don't. There's a tunnel alert over here, which is a dog right over it. I'm not exactly convinced that that's a tunnel, because if they were tunneling up this way, that would be really dumb. So, yeah, I'm thinking a lot, or uh, not lockdown, a shakedown is in order fairly soon here, because uh, we haven't done one in a few episodes, and I think anybody who would be building a tunnel is probably pretty close to getting out by now. So, yes, the tunnel, or the... What is this? Oh, is this one of the new... This is levers. New levers is definitely in a cell. But, yeah, anybody getting uh, their tunnel on is definitely going to be in for it now. Hey, look. We have Derek Lai. Lai? Lai? I don't know the name. He's using the table. Wow. Epic suggestion of the month goes to the tables in the yard. That was a great idea. Look at them. We should put more out here even. They're all using the tables. They're getting away from the door. This is exactly what we needed. This is awesome. Okay, I'm really, really happy about this. 
maybe we'll just line some benches around uh, the perimeter walls on this yard, too. I mean, really, there's no point to not. I mean, give them, give them a place to sit. This does look a lot better, too. I'll give you that. So, yeah, you guys, that's why I love doing YouTube. It makes you guys have something to do, something to watch in your spare time. But you also help me out, and together, we have a lot of fun. I hope. At least that's that's what I think. That's what I hope. So, yes. Okay, let's get this done here. We're going to need some doors on this as well. Uh, who? Should we put a patrol down here? Or should... Oh, you know what? So there's four cameras here. I'm thinking maybe we do four more cameras in each of the parole rooms, and then that should be a good thing for us, because if anybody decides to go berserk and take out their frustration on their parole officers or their lawyers, we'll see it and send a guard right away. So that's a good idea. Let's go ahead and get the next CCTV monitor up there. How are we doing for power? That is going to be a thing here soon. We're going to need to start thinking about power unit number two. I'm not sure where we want to put that. Uh, we also have to look and make sure that we don't miss the single low quantity and quality meals. Uh, we don't want that to go by the wayside because if we do any extra days of that, it may be the end of the prison and nobody wants that. So. Let's go in and actually zone these now. And this is going to be a staff room. Where's the staff room? It is a yellow one. It is not a... a you know what? It's, it's a green one. Damn it. All right. This is a long, drawn-out staff room. Nothing in it. Minimum size of 4x4. Four four. No, it didn't show me a minimum size before. Oh, what are we going to do with this now? There's no point to have it here. Crap. I mean, what about the library? Does that have a minimum size? I mean, it'd be a ridiculous... Yeah, 5x5. Five five. Yeah, that would be utterly ridiculous. So, did we want to put the library over here, maybe? Was that the plan after moving this all out? I don't know, but we do want to get the tables in here for... The parole room. Yes, the visitation tables in here like this. And then we'll, sp I guess we can't spin this one around. So we'll just kind of, can we not spin it up and down? You can spin it side to side, but you can't spin it up and down so the one person would sit at the top. Very strange. Huh. I guess we'll do that. And then we'll take this one and do that like that too. We need lights in here, of course. We need, no, we don't need plumbing. That was almost really stupid. And then, what else? Staff room is just doomed. Although, check it out. He's in here, and he's resting. So maybe this isn't like a doomed staff room anyway. Maybe it's okay. Maybe we should just get a wide sofa and a drink machine. Because he's no longer tired. So, I mean, it paid off. Um, yeah. I don't know. Maybe we'll leave it there. It's just that thing's going to sit there and buzz around at us for the next infinity amount of time but all right let's go ahead and connect up the cctv oh, you know what before i do that let me go ahead and put some cctv monitors in the rooms uh i guess we'll do it like this yes and then these will go on the back wall like that and that boom cool yeah, they're resting in here. I mean, let's just get a sofa and let's just call it a day. I mean, it's a nice place to come chill, have a drink, have a, a sleep on the sofa, do whatever you want to do. And I guess we could cram a pool table in here, but no one would be able to use it. So let's not do that. You know what? Let's just give him a TV and then another sofa or two. Or, yeah, that's the back of the sofa, I think. I don't know. Something like that. That works, and then these should go in fairly soon, and then we'll connect up all the CCTV monitors at once, I think. So, yes, our yards look awesome now. Thank you to whoever that was. I've said that many times now. We have a full 20 capacity for maximum security, and they have zero water down here, but it's okay because there is a water pipe right up here. So, this is a thing... Can we do this? Is it going to replace it? I hope it will. 
that's good like that. And then these will just kind of come in here. We have a tunnel alert. I'm going to guess that that's a uh, false flag. But, ooh, you know, I'm going to say it's a false flag. Just, it doesn't make sense that anyone would dig in. And you know what? Looking at this now, we don't have any perimeter fence around the, the um, protected custody guys. Do you think they'd escape? I mean, what's-his-name was definitely beaten up his toilet. So, I mean, I guess if you're going to dig out under your toilet, you're going to want to respect it. But, uh, maybe not. All right, let's go into a shakedown. 414 places to look. And we'll... I guess, you know what? We'll wrap up the shakedown in the next episode. I'm going to wrap this one up here. We got quite a bit done after we discovered that we can sell shares of our prisons, so that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, you know, we weathered the storm. The low quantity one meal a day is going away in the next episode, which is a big, big, great thing for us. But, uh, yeah, if you guys like this one, give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, you know what to do. Thumbs down. Follow me on Twitter and support me on Patreon if you feel like throwing a couple bucks a month my way. And until next time, guys, I'll see you back here in Prison Architect.